Hi, this is Linz from Sweet Natures, and this is our look at whether Virgin Voyages could be for you. As always, I'm joined by Marky. Hello. Hello, who put the video together, and this is my first time watching, so let's see what we can see. So today, Linz, we're going to talk about whether a Virgin Cruise is right for you. Yes, it's right for me. But is it right for everybody? No. Well, don't spoil it. Let's let him watch a little bit longer than 15 seconds. <laughs> We're going to talk about starting off, really, with price. Oh, that's a good place to start. It's a good place. Virgin considers itself a premium line. Mm -hmm. So that's your princess, your celebrities. It is, yeah. So what we've done is done a little bit of comparison for next summer, June 23, in the Mediterranean. Uh -huh. Virgin quote there's on a per cabin price. Yeah, so you're looking scary. It can, but you're looking at three and a half thousand dollars for a cabin, a balcony, or a sea terrace. Yes. By comparison, mm -hmm. Royal Caribbean, going out of Barcelona, yeah, would be three thousand two hundred and eighty-two pound for two people on a balcony. Having said that, at this point in time, at the time we went to press, they had a sale on, so that brought it down to two thousand six hundred. And also, that balcony might be looking inward rather than sea. That's true. Celebrity. Oof. Much, much more expensive. Yes. On it, and you're looking at seven thousand seven hundred and ninety-six dollars, but that includes their basic drinks package, not the premium, but the basic one, along with tips and Wi-Fi. I'm having a drink to that. P and O. Mm -hmm. On it for a balcony, you're kicking in at twelve hundred and twenty-five pound initially. Then, with you put the other bits on, that brings it up to three thousand dollars. However, that does include flights. Okay. So Virgin is priced competitively. And just before we move on to the next bit, if I could just take two seconds to invite you to subscribe if you haven't already, and to press that like button if you like what we do and it's helpful. Yes, and thank you if you already have subscribed. I, honestly, it it makes me smile every time we get somebody subscribed, so thank you. Or like. Or like, or anything really. <laughs> Eek, did I, did I sound desperate then? I, I think encouraging. I'll go with that. Anyway, we're looking now at Virgin's accommodation choices. Now, these were controversial to start with. Some of them were. So we're looking here at one of the sea terraces. They range everything from inside cabins up to mega rock star suites. Yes. But this is an inside, uh, sorry, a sea terrace. I'm going to say I can see a balcony. Yeah, definitely not an inside one. Now, these were controversial initially because they convert into a, a sofa. But no, yeah, they were a sofa that converted into a bed. They were, but actually now everyone just leaves them as a bed. And they're very comfortable. Yes, because that did worry us initially, didn't they? Yeah. They are very modern rooms, no matter which one you get on Virgin. All of them having the touchpad interfaces. If you've got a balcony room or bigger, then it closes your curtains. If you're in an inside cabin, it just alters your lights and works your TV. Okay, I understand. The hammock... A lot of people think is a gimmick. We did when we first saw it. A hammock is a gimmick. A hammock is a gimmick. <laughs> a little bit of a gimmick. Um, but they're actually incredibly comfortable. I couldn't, get, I couldn't get you out of ours. You couldn't get me out of it. Who's in it there? Oh, that's me. Now, when you go up above the sea terrace, you go into the rock star. You go into the rock star, which is their first level of suites, which are very reasonably priced. For the entry level, this one is. This one is. Pricey. This one's a little bit more expensive. A little bit. Well, it depends which cruise you go. We have seen it quite reasonable. Certainly, if you compare it to something like the iconic a car. suite or a car, <laughs> it's reasonable compared to a car. <laughs> but the actual rock star suites start at, you depending on the cruise that you're on. But for a seven night cruise, the, the start around about two and a half thousand dollars for the. Rest. And, of course, go up substantially from there. Yeah, I mean, that's a good price if you can find it. Book it. It is. They do exist, but a lot fewer and far between. Again, from the um, suite side, you get things like record players in there that are USB. And one album. And one album. But if you're on the bigger suites, more than one album. I think you can go pick one, can't you? I think they'll give you any album that you want that's in there. If you're in the big suites, you just need to ask. Rumours. Is that what you'd want? Fleetwood yeah. Mac one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the bigger suite, the bigger the bathroom. <laughs> I got excited about that bath. You did. A lovely size bath. And this is the massive suite, so this has the massive terrace, which also includes a hot tub, big private seating area. You say private, people can look over. That's true on this particular one. 
but it's a huge suite. But you've got everything from accommodation size, from that really smaller inside cabin, which come in very reasonably priced, to the massive ones. Oh, my favourite bit. Dining and food. Oh. Now, Virgin has rapidly become known as a foodie ship. It didn't start that way. That's not how it pitched itself. No, it didn't, but it has rapidly become known for that. It, oh, it's so good. Now, one of the controversial things that they did when they announced Virgin Voyages was they scrapped the concept of a main dining room. I thought you were going to say about a buffet, but yeah, you're right about that bit as well. You see, I would say that the main dining room was more controversial than what they did with the buffet on board, which is not a buffet. Which is not a buffet, more like a hawker centre. It is. But there is no such thing as a main dining room. So each night you'll go for a meal in a different restaurant. And it's up to you where you go, depending on how long a cruise it is, how many times you can go to each restaurant. But they range from a Korean barbecue, yes. which is what we're seeing here, and this was the mm. first one at sea, yeah, and it's fantastic, up into the galley, which is their replacement of the buffet, yes, where everything's prepared fresh, and you can go get a fresh salad, as you can see there, or you can go get some ramen, or some sushi. A box, it's, and it's awesome chips. Some chips, some burgers, a cooked breakfast... Anything you're thinking of, but it's all freshly prepared for you. Yes. And you just order it via um, one of the servers slash app. Yeah, absolutely. You don't go up and collect anything. Everything gets brought to you. Yes. Which is why, for me, it's not a buffet. And no. I think the argument's sort of well done with from, from now. Okay. But from a food perspective, having such a massive choice on board... Yeah. If you're only going on a shorter cruise, sort of a three or four night one... You're going to miss out. You've no chance of getting through it. No, you're going to have to be really selective to where you go and when you go. Um, but, yeah, oh, it's it's good. And they've got everything from sort of a test kitchen, as we're seeing here, which is their more experimental food, through to Razzle Dazzle, which we were looking at a second ago, which is their vegetarian and, and vegan, vegan restaurant. But they do meat options as well. Yeah. Right. And again, we're looking at a test kitchen here where you've got some really out there food, but also some amazing cocktails that they've the created bed. just for or these you can meals. Do wine. Or you can have wine. Or you well. can have. Oh. Then you've got the wake, yes, which is their the steak wake. and seafood house. Oh my goodness, that chowder! And what you have to bear in mind is none of this is extra. No. On everything that we've just shown there, maybe including the ice cream. In probably, in fact, including the ice cream. Oh, yeah, of course it is. On virtually every other ship, you would pay for. For the fancy ice cream, not for the machine ice no, cream. No, but this is fancy ice cream, and it's free. And you get fancy corn. And you can have as many as you want. You can. And it's great for sitting... Oh, drinks. I'm going to say, I like ice cream, and I like drinks. Well, that's perfectly <laughs> led into that one. So, drinks and bars on board. It has a very, very wide range. And a strong... They are. They are not small measures. No. Now, what it doesn't have is a drinks package. No. It has the bar tab. Yeah. We have done a full review on the bar tab, and you can see that, and we'll put a link in the description below for that. But it is their alternative, yes. where you're prepaying for it, but you get a bonus <laughs> on top. That would look very strong. That would look very strong I was having there. And you can get shots around. And you get your frozen cocktails and everything else that you'd like to expect. <laughs> I'm enjoying that as well. I'm going to have a drink. But yeah, and no, you know how I feel. I like a free-spirited beverage package. You do. And I think the beverage package would be fantastic on Virgin because I'd love to see their take on it because it wouldn't be just a beverage your package. box. Yeah. Beverage it, package, no. And even if you look at sort of the bar stuff that they bring on board, they are so talented throughout. I mean, this particular bar here is uh, the red bar, I think it is, at the back of Razzle yes. Dazzle. Yeah. And they create drinks inside popcorn containers and goldfish Is ones. that my goldfish? That's your goldfish one there. Uh, but they are so original. They are. We've had cocktails and drinks on Virgin that we've never seen anywhere at sea or on land. No, but I mean, that goldfish... I would have preferred to have that on a beverage package because I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> but as, yeah. And you get the bars in the restaurants as well. Yes. So if you want to go sit in at the restaurant bar, you can do that. 
If you want to go into the traditional bars and listen to music or the nightclubs, again, you've got all those options in there. Yeah. But they really are phenomenal for the drinks. Lovely glassware as well. And, and you the, get, sorry. I was going to say you get a glass on, on the deck as well. You do. No plastic cups. And they're really reasonably priced. I mean, they're not bad. I prefer a drinks package. I'd like to see a virgin drinks package. I'm letting it go now. <laughs> Entertainment and relaxing on board. Now, it's not exactly what you would call traditional on virgin. No. And by that, I mean not at all. I mean, if you've... Yeah, it's quite avant-garde. Um, Edinburgh Fringe feel to it. it. It's like you say. You don't have your traditional shows. No, not Lady in a Ball Gown singing show tunes. No. You have things like, as we're looking here, Dual Reality, which is a, a mixture of Romeo and Juliet and Cirque du Soleil. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Oh, they're so talented. And I've never met anyone who's seen it who didn't... didn't enjoy it, no. Absolutely blown away by it. You know, you've got, like, Abby the Hostess and the other hostesses on board that do things as part of the Scarlet Night. Yes. Which, again, a fantastic evening entertainment that yeah. runs throughout the entire ship. It's sort of setting the scene. Unlike with a gala night on another cruise ship, they yeah. don't have that. No. And you have impromptu singers sat around. You have main things in the uh, nightclub areas. Oh, the bl oh, we had a great time in here. Uh, random tap dancing along <laughs> with the blues I singer. Mean, if you like Cunard, I don't know why you wouldn't like that blues night. Because, you, you know, you... It's it's still you know the songs. Yeah, absolutely. There's just not lady in a sparkly frock. No, and you've also got things you know for the older generation. Older. Like, like, I was thinking like myself, <laughs> who remember the sort of arcades, uh, which are completely free. They're not charging anymore for no. it. No. The the air hockey, the singing, mm. your karaoke, it's... private karaoke booths. Yeah. Again, all completely inclusive. And yes, you, you go down, you write your name, you, you book your session. It's not soundproofed, I'll just put that out there. And you've got the pools, you've got the hot tubs, you've got the hydrotherapy areas. The pool is a posy pool, not a, laps, a lap pool. No, you can swim in it a little bit, but it, it's <laughs> nice for cooling down. It's lovely for relaxing around. You've got running tracks, you've got amazing gyms on board. Oh, yeah, yeah, they like a gym. Oh, Itineraries. Now, you might... Assume because there's only two at the time of recording Virgin ships with a third one coming on, they actually don't have a big itineraries. In actual fact, they really do. So they cover the Europe in, in particular, the Mediterranean, Caribbean going out of San Juan and Miami. And you go to their private island, which looks looks fantastic. It looks absolutely fantastic. And at some point, we will get to go oh, there, but yes. we've not as yet. But it does look absolutely amazing like everything else they've done. They're also doing the South Pacific and Australia from next year with Resilient Lady going down there the latter part of 2023. Yes. And there's transatlantic and other types of cruises available as well. So they actually have pretty good itineraries. Yeah, yeah. You, you're not going to Peru, but it's... Yeah, they're not going through the Panama Canal or anything like that uh, yet. Minute. No, no. But that's not to say that they won't do in the future. But you've got a good selection depending on what you fancy and where you want to go. Yeah. Now, why might it not be for you? I'm interested to see what you've put here. What... Well, first and foremost, there's a big thing. It's adults only. Yeah. So if you're wanting to go on there with your children and your family, that's not a thing. That, you, you made that very clear. Oh, yes. They've got some risque entertainment. We'll let you Google Never Sleep Alone if you want to do that. Uh, be careful. And, and we're not responsible for what, what might return. Nope. You've got the nightclubs and the Scarlet Night. Yes. Which have gone into the very early hours. Yeah. You've got bar crawls. Oh, yeah, like the pub crawl. Yeah, it was... Yeah, so with all the food as well. Lots of food included. Don't eat before you do this. Now, these sort of things might not be for you. They might be. They might not be. Ice cream isn't the reason it might not be for you. Ice cream and people watching might be a reason it is for you. But how many of the other cruise lines do you see mermaids walking around? You don't. Very, very few. Now, for us, it's fantastic. I mean, you even look at the lifts. These are not traditional in no. any way, shape or no, form. No, not at all. You know, it's probably as far removed from traditional lines like Cunard as you could be. That's not to say that you won't like it, but you may not. Yeah, you're not going to have a... Um, Foxtrot 
dance lesson. No, there's no ballroom dancing. Now, we didn't expect to enjoy it the first time we went on Virgin. We didn't expect to enjoy it. That's why we didn't book it. It was only because of the we Say another UK. vloggers. Yeah, yeah. And, and they was going out of the UK. But the reality is, it's now one of our favourite cruise lines. It is. And we would encourage anyone to, to give it a go. If, if you like food, you like a drink, you like a, a good time, then it's for you. And it can be as relaxing as you want it to be, or it can be as intense. You know, the, the later bars stay open until 4am. Yeah, but that means in the morning there's not many as activities. No, a lot of fitness stuff in the morning. Yes. Much more chilled in the morning. And more power you if you can get up and do it after a Well, people night. were. I know. But they had some amazing fitness stuff as well, like the 80s VHS fitness. Yes, yeah. So it really is a cruise where you can you know, stay up partying all night or take it as easy as you want to do. Yeah, and, and, and lose yourself a bit and, and have some amazing food. Ooh. A nice little moon set. Yes. And that's it. End I of another fresh. video. Uh, yes. Cheers, Marky. Cheers, Lens. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a lovely day.